Hey YouTube, Tactical Fork here with my next video in the series I'm doing on Grandmaster Nightfalls in Destiny 2. You ever get you and your fire team all the way to the boss room of a Grandmaster only to forget about important mechanics, enemy spawn timings or locations, or other things that are just hard to find in a longer guide video? Well, stick around, because all we're talking about here is that very last encounter in any Grandmaster Nightfall, the boss. But before we do, I do want to remind you that I do stream over on Twitch. The link to my channel is down below in the video description. Go check it out, tune in while I'm live, say hi, have a good time, I'll see you around. And also, if you end up liking this video, please be sure to give it a like on YouTube and subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. In this video, we are covering the Fallen Saber Grandmaster Nightfall Boss Room. It's actually one of my favorites. It's the first Grandmaster I ever completed in Destiny 2, and I have to say, as far as GMs go, it's a blast. So let's dive in right now and take a look at that boss fight and talk about what to expect. All right, Guardians, welcome to the boss room of Fallen Saber. A few notes right away, the boss is split into four health sections, going immune when he gets to three quarters and to half health. The environmental damage in this boss room is just as dangerous as any other enemy in this fight. So be aware of your surroundings. They change in each phase. To start out the fight, when you drop down into the room, you have a one servitor and two shanks on either side of the room to deal with. So you're going to need to kill all of these enemies to spawn in the boss. Also important to note here, Bungie, please fix the ramp going down into this room. I don't know how many times I or a fire team member have died from trying to skate down into this damn thing. Once you clear these first adds from the room, that will spawn the boss, Saber 2. And immediately you begin your DPS phase on the boss for the first quarter of his health. Do so from the middle or the right side of the room to avoid any of the environmental damage. Shanks also begin to spawn, but you can usually deal with them from range while DPSing the boss without too much worry. Once the boss gets to three quarters health, he goes immune. A barrier servitor spawns along with additional shanks. Again, stay in the middle or the right side of the room to avoid environmental damage. The boss can still one-shot you from inside his immune bubble, so be sure to stay out of his line of sight for most of this immune phase. Again, shank spawn, but really you can just melt the servitor and that will trigger the next DPS phase on the boss. Again, attack him from the middle or the right side, being mindful of the shanks that are continuing to spawn. Once you get Saber 2 down to half health, be sure to rotate to the left side of the map to avoid environmental damage. Another barrier servitor will spawn along with tracer shanks this time, as well as regular shanks. Be careful, the tracer shanks can also one-shot you at Grandmaster level. Supers come in handy here to clear things out, but again, um, killing that barrier servitor is what will trigger Saber 2's next DPS phase. So try and handle some of the adds, but the more you can focus fire on the servitor, the quicker this encounter will go. Once you kill the servitor, that triggers the next DPS phase of Saber 2. Keep in mind, this is the final DPS phase. There are no more immune phases for the rest of the encounter, so doing as much damage as quickly as possible to him helps limit the engagement and the amount of adds that you have to deal with. For these last two sections of health, you're dealing with Exploder Shanks, Tracer Shanks, Regular Shanks, and as I said, no more immune phases. So move around the room, focus on the boss as much as possible. Usually having one fire team member focus on adds also helps just in case any of those exploders get close. And as long as you stay coordinated through the rest of the fight, there it is. You complete the Fallen Saber Grandmaster boss room. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all again real soon.